Well, uh, morning is broken, and, um, and where are we? Well, no matter where you are on the planet at this time, you are east of Eden. That's where we're at. Um, we're not in paradise. And Jesus said before he ascended into heaven that he was going to prepare a place for us. So our true home is heaven. And we're in the, the book of Genesis, the book of beginnings. And again, if you can stand the, the, the uh, reputation here, um, I can see the whole story of Jesus hidden away in chapters uh, one, two, three, and four and a half of the book of Genesis. Just, just simply offhand, um, like everybody knows about Adam and Eve. Okay, Jesus is the new Adam. Mary is the new Eve. Adam's side was opened up. Jesus' side was opened up. In the shadows of the whole Old Testament is also the story of Christ and the story of Mary. So where we're at today is uh, Genesis chapter 3 and verses 8 through 24. And God willing, we'll cover that. The man and his wife heard the sound of the Yahweh God of the I Am walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And they hid from the Lord God among the trees of the garden. Now, in case you haven't noticed this about us, we're always hiding, always hiding. We talk about people wearing masks and, um, and we, uh, we, don't, we don't tell the whole truth about ourselves, or especially if we're ashamed of something in our lives that we've done. Uh, we we uh, thank God we have the the solemn silence of the confessional, where Christ comes to us and uh, heals what we're ashamed of. So the man and his wife heard the sound of the Lord God Yahweh God walking in the garden in the cool of the day, and they hid from Yahweh God among the trees of the garden. But Yahweh God called to the man. Where are you? Now, he's not looking for GPS information here. Um, you know, where are you? Where, where are you coming from? Uh, uh, what's happened to you? Because bear in mind that the Lord God used to walk with Adam and Eve in the cool of the garden, in the cool of the evening time. He walked with them. But now they're hiding. So he's saying, where are you? He asked, I, Adam answers, I heard the sound of you in the garden, he replied. I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid. Have you ever hid from somebody? Do you do it to this day? Have you ever been afraid? And why were you, why were you afraid? Maybe because you'd be exposed? And we see this with Adam. I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid myself. Who told you that you were naked, he asked. Have you been eating of the tree I forbade you to eat? God forbade us to eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. The man replied, watch this, it was the woman. It was the woman you put with me. She gave me the fruit and I ate it. So not alone is he hiding because of his own shame and hiding from God. Now he also distanced himself from his own wife. It was the woman you put me with. It's her fault. The Lord God asked the woman, what is this you have done? The woman replied, telling the truth. She replied, the serpent tempted me and I ate. I'm kind of amazed at that in her fallen condition. Uh, she didn't say it was he told me or he did it. She, she tells the truth. The serpent, the, te the devil tempted me and I ate. Now, here's where the um, whole Bible is in these next couple of verses. The Lord God said to the serpent, Satan, Beelzebub, the prince of darkness, 
because you have done this, because you've brought sin into my creation, because you've brought death into my creation, be accursed beyond all cattle, all wild beasts. You shall crawl on your belly and eat dust every day of your life. I will make you enemies of each other, you and the woman, your offspring and her offspring. He will crush your head and you will strike at his heel. And it's right here the whole story of Jesus and Mary and Mary. Listen to it one more time. I will make you enemies of each other, you and the woman. Who's the woman? Not even born yet, and yet she's mentioned. It's Mary. Do you remember at the wedding feast of Cana where Mary approached Jesus and said, they have no more wine. And Jesus said to her, woman, What's this concern of yours got to do with me? My hour has not yet come. My hour to change, you know, uh, bread into my body. My hour to, to uh, die on the cross and destroy death forever. So he calls her, she's the woman. I will make you enemies of each other, you and the woman. Your offspring, Satan, all the devils in, in, in hell, if you like, and her offspring. Now, who's the offspring of the woman? Well, we can't get over it. The Virgin Mary had a baby boy, and we say that his name is Jesus. The offspring of the woman, Jesus. He will crush your head, and you will strike at his heel. Now, how did he crush the devil's head? Jesus, by dying, he destroyed our death. By rising, he restored our lives. We look for him to come again in glory soon. Did the, uh, the men and women who wrote this down at the beginning have any idea why they were writing it? I don't know. But we who live in the fullness of time, in the time of Christ, uh, can see all the way back to the woman, he said, ladies, you know this is the truth. You don't, have to, you don't need the Bible to tell you about it. I will multiply your pains in childbearing. My mother had 11 children. Oh my, oh my. Of whom I'm the holiest, the handsomest, and the humblest. Thus I had mentioned that. Um, you especially notice my humility. I'm particularly proud of my humility. Uh, to the woman, he said, I will multiply your pains in childbearing you will give birth to your children in pain. Your yearning shall be for your husband, yet he will lord it over you. And just the truth. Why is it the way we are? Because of Satan came into our sphere. To the man he said, because you listened to the voice of your wife and ate from the tree I had forbidden you to eat. Accursed be the soil because of you. With suffering shall you get your food from it every day of your life. It will yield you brambles and thistles. You shall eat wild plants. With sweat on your brow shall you eat your bread until you return to the soil as you were taken from it. For dust you are and to dust you shall return. And have you wondered how all over the world on Ash Wednesday people show up and the, the priest or the minister having uh, burnt the palms from Palm Sunday uses the ashes and anoints you in the forehead and says to you, remember that you were dust. Remember, man, that you were dust and to dust you shall return. The Bible is completely inclusive. When it says, remember man, it means man and woman in the divine image. So that's where we get it from. My name is Adam. I've been on the march a long time now. 
and I'm sick and I'm tired and very soon I will die and you're all my children and because of me sin and death entered into this world and this you must live with but the new Adam is Jesus and he was the opposite of me all the way I disobeyed God Jesus was obedient even unto death, death upon the cross. I ran away from God and hid among the trees of the garden. Jesus, with his dying breath, cried out, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. I blame my wife. I said it was her fault. It wasn't, of course, it was my fault, but I blame my wife. Jesus doesn't blame anybody. He cries out, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. Very soon now, I return to the dust from which I was made. Your Jesus, the new Adam, burst the chains of death in the resurrection, like Jonah coming out of the big fish. And he's here today. So I need to tell you, you can't go back the way to the Garden of Eden. You can't go back again into your mother's womb either. We have to go through the desert of self-denial. That's why the Holy Mother Church asks us during Lent, you're to give things up. To, to, uh, and we're going towards the promised land that is heaven. And what is heaven like? I don't know. All I can, all I can tell you is that, that eye has not seen nor ear heard nor has it entered into the hearts of men and women what God has prepared for those who love him. I met um, two people in my lifetime on their deathbed. Uh, one of them was pronounced dead by hospice and by the doctors, and the other had been in a coma for uh, six months in the Gainesville Hospital. The girl who was dead who had died and been pronounced dead don't ask me to explain it because i can't she came back to life i went to see her and i asked her um, what happened jean and all she could say to me was it's so beautiful it's so beautiful it's so beautiful and you were there father the second one had been in a coma for six, I think, months at this stage, Gainesville Hospital, matter of public record. And it was one of those days, uh, maybe my conscience was bothering me that I hadn't gone to see him in six months. And I walked into the room where he was, and at that second, he opened his eyes. He came back to consciousness. And he looked at me and he said, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. And then he closed his eyes. He died sometimes later. So the first Adam and the second Adam parallel one another in opposite directions. The man named his wife Eve because she was the mother of all those who live. Yahweh God made clothes out of skins for the man and his wife. It's interesting that God is a seamstress as well. Isn't that interesting? I thought that was something women did. Huh? The Lord God made clothes out of skins for the man and his wife, and they put them on. Then Yahweh God said, See, the man has become like us with his knowledge of good and evil. He must not be allowed to stretch his hand next and pick from the tree of life and eat some and live forever. So Yahweh God expelled him from the Garden of Eden and you were expelled from your mother's womb to till the soil from which you had been taken. He banished the man and in front of the Garden of Eden, he posted the cherubs with the flame of a flashing sword to guard the way to the tree of life. So there it is again. You cannot go back the way into your mother's womb. We must go forward to the desert of self-denial. So it's all here. And 
So remember, my name is Adam. And every man you see is Adam. Every woman you see is Eve. And Jesus is the new Adam who will bring us forward into the new promised land, the new Garden of Eden, which is heaven. Um, I forgot to mention, uh, we've been cherry picking the Bible. And the, the uh, cherry picking today had to do with the results of the fall. Uh, what happened to Adam and Eve, and what is happening to us, and, uh, and why it is that uh, we're often afraid, and because we're vulnerable, and we hide. So, uh, just basically what I was doing was the names have been changed. I changed my name to Adam, and acted it out for you as if I was Adam, but I am Adam. Every man you see is Adam, every woman you see is Eve. The next cherry we'll be picking will be Cain and Abel. So it just gets you excited about all of this. Who did Cain marry? <laughs> he had to necessarily marry his sister. Okay, next time, please. Bye.